if you want to live peacefully then you have to obey the Quranic teaching you have to obey the authentic Sunnah because without following Quranic teaching and authentic Sunnah never you will get peaceful life it is the only way if you want to be in a peaceful state you can see outside there are many man, man made rules man made constitution system rules laws many things you will see but that just made just for their own benefits for example you know if there is a thief in a you know very important chair then this thief only will create law keeping his selfishness but quran allah subhanahu ta'ala has given us this quran and so is sunnah just to you know give us a beautiful life a peaceful state that's why you won't find any selfishness in the teaching of quran and sunnah yes you won't find any selfishness the, the teaching of quran and sunnah equal for everybody it is not for certain individual it is for everybody but the man-made rules, man-made system, it is made for, you know, for themselves. But not for everybody. That's why man-made rules should not be allowed. Just only follow Quran and Sunnah. If you follow it, if you obey it, then you will have the real taste of life. You have wealth. But if you don't have peace in your heart, what will you do this world? If you have many laws, many system, many method, many method, many rules, but if you don't have peace, what will you do with these rules? It can't benefit you at all. But if you have peace, even though if you don't have money, it's okay. But still you are happy because you have peace. Just staying with some money, if peace in your heart, it is better. But you have many things wealth, you know, especially, you know, in the modern countries, you will see they are maximum, they are connected with interest. They are connected with interest. That's why you will, uh, you will be astonished to watching their lifestyle. Everywhere they use car, everywhere, you know, their house like palace, castle, you know, very charming, but look there carefully they don't have peace look there carefully you will see many crime you will see many crime many adultery so what will do with this so the important thing is peace the most important thing is peace peace is given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you follow Quran and Sunnah you will have peace so here one more thing is Quran, all the time I'm saying Quranic teaching it should be proper Quranic teaching proper Quranic, Quranic teaching proper authentic Sunnah because uh, um, I'm warning you against those people that uh, who are making a business of religion and they you know uh, they try to cheat with you with the you know they just uh, you know they change the Quranic verse into their own opinion and the Quran and the Hadith they change it in their own uh, own opinion just to make a you know religious business that you should not follow it because if you follow that if you obey it then you won't have a real teaching of Quran you won't have the authentic you know authentic teaching of hadith that's why it aren't available in your life you should confirm that you are getting the you know proper teaching of quran proper teaching of authentic hadith pro from right source there are many frauds you should be aware of them even you will see you will be very astonished 
that what a lifestyle what a lifestyle they have but they don't have the Quranic teaching in their constitution you will have man-made laws what is the man-made laws what will you do with it it can't help you because if you follow the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah given the law that if a thief caught then his hand should be cut off but there you will find the man-made laws you know that contains selfishness the man-made laws is that if a court is found then you give him prison for one month for one year yeah they just give it so what after releasing one month later or one year later again he will start stealing so what will you do with this rule it can't help earlier he take uh, he took decide he took decision just you know just you know a little stealing when he will be released then he will come back with the big decision of big stealing so this type of rules can't help rather it increase the crime so the best way is the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is better but we do not understand it we try to run after you know money and money already I have said that money is not everything this is the important thing so we should utilize exploit the Quran the teaching of Quran and the teaching of authentic hadith in our life at first you should use it in your life then if you are full with it then you should try to utilize in your family then you are able to convince your family then try to in your society then your country because only crime can be without only crime to be uh, you know if you want to remove it from your society then you should use the Quranic teaching in your society then it is possible if you if the crime should be without from the society then it is possible but there is no value of Quran and Sunnah people don't care about Quran and Sunnah they don't think it so how can they get they can get peace how so that's why we should all the time we should be acquainted with Quran and Sunnah because if we are able to be acquainted with Quran and Sunnah it is better for us we, we, we can get you know the proper taste of life the best taste of life the best taste of peace And uh, I can say one more thing that you know if you want to get the proper teaching of Quran then you have to go to the right source you have to go to the authentic source now okay uh, the, now it is the age of internet you can google it uh, you can easily you can have the authentic source uh, in your hand and you can find easily the proper teaching of Quran but for you know for getting the proper teaching at first you have to know the Holy Quran you have to know the Hadith what is authentic Hadith you have to know it because if you are not acquainted suppose I am giving you certain verse uh, I am telling you that find out it that if you are 
not able to find out it it is you know useless but if you are able to find out it then you can easily find out the proper teaching there are many so called scholars so called alim they say many thing but even that doesn't contains the value because this this all are frauds maximum this all are frauds so that's why if you if you are able to find out any words from the quran any hadith from authentic source then whatever they say if they give reference if it matches with the reference then okay you can obey it but if you have in your home tv tv channel where new do women dance you see need a new do women your wife your wife or your wife and children everybody watch new do women indian film naked film so how can you think that uh, you will get the quranic teaching how no it's not possible even you know many indian films it contains shirk we know that shirk is the major sin in islam it's a very big sin in islam you should be away from this gravest sin but instead of being away from this gravest sin sin you are you know keeping it in your home you are watching tv in which the maximum films contains uh, shirk and when your children your wife your family will watch this type of film aren't they learn it of course they will learn it you are watching these films where they insult the power of allah subhanahu wa taala you are thinking that you will get the right guidance from allah subhanahu wa taala no it's not possible you can't get it you are just wishing but really you aren't get so i request i suggest this that there are you know good things also in the tv also prevailing bad things so try to keep the good thing don't use dish dth try to keep any specific uh, tv channel islamic tv channel authentic uh, which shows authentic way which show, which uh, shows references of speech try to keep that type of tv channel then it will be easy for you to learn the authentic uh, authentic teaching of quran and sunna if you do it it's your benefit if you try then it will bring your benefit not benefit for us if you get guidance if you get proper teaching of quran and sunna it will be good benefit for you if you know that how to perform prayer in authentic way how to perform hajj in authentic way how to perform pilgrimage how to you know give jaka obligatory char charity in authentic way if you know it it's uh, better for you rather you can say best it will be best for you if you are performing anything if it is not accepted then what do you do with it so you have to know quran and sunna and according to the quran and sunna you if you perform any ibadah worship inshallah allah will accept it only one source from which we can learn about uh, performing prayer that is quran and sunna two source you have to keep it in your mind that this two source so that's why the main topic is if we want to be in a peaceful life peaceful place peaceful state then at first we have to obey quran and sunna quranic teaching and the sun teaching of sunna authentic teaching of sunna then it is possible and forget all the man made laws man made rules you know man made rules i can give one more example they are telling you that uh, to make family planning to make family planning whether it is uh, boy or whether it is girl two is uh, you know two are enough it is a family planning but the islam sharia is telling something different that the more children you will have the more children you will have 
the more chances you have to enter paradise because when you, you will have suppose you have five children if you are able to teach them proper quran and sunnah then inshallah you are you will be one of the lucky person it will be best for you so what are you thinking about the uh, uh, man-made laws so forget it just all the time try to keep your every step according to the quran and sunnah inshallah you will get the real peace but those people denying forget about them just if you get mad if you get mandated then inshallah it will be good for you anyway we pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that allah give us proper guidance and uh, may allah give you proper guidance